Everyone was like, oh, wow, Kathy Wood is buying the dip. We were pretty skeptical of why she was so bullish on Netflix. Kathy Wood, you know, if you remember past couple months, uh, she has ARC, her fund. You know, she was really bullish on Netflix. She was like, oh, we're buying the dip. You know, Netflix tanked. We're buying the dip. Everyone was like, oh, wow, Kathy Wood is buying the dip. Well, now it looks like she capitulated. Uh, she's buying, you know, a position in Disney and selling not all, but a meaningful part of her position in Netflix. We were pretty skeptical of, uh, of why she was so bullish on Netflix. And uh, here is our opinion on why that was the wrong decision. I don't think it ends there. You got people here like Kathy Wood, who is still bullish and buying the dip. Horrible idea. Horrible idea. That growth isn't going to come back. There's no magic switch that Netflix can just push at this point. The, actually, the competition is only going to heat up on Netflix. Disney at almost 100 million subscribers. HBO Max, over 40 million subscribers. Peacock from Comcast, over 30 million subscribers. Okay, you get the idea. When was this? This video was... Oh, wow. This was a month ago. Man, she changed her tune pretty quickly. We called it wrong decision by Kathy. I'm glad she figured it out. We've been calling it for over two years. It's a linear business model. You've heard all the reasons. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble, and text us. 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.